Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and here we're here with the one, the only, the only one, Stump from Stump Smoker. Man, we got him on. Uh, how's it feel to be on television? Same as it always does, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went down to uh, your main shop. We met Stump for the first time, and uh, uh, he has got some wonderful products. And and uh, Stump, how you been doing the last few months? Been doing pretty good. You know, I don't get around like I used to, but but I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we're building cookers every day, and and uh, trying to trying to get time to go cook barbecue. I know uh, you have done a lot of research on trying to make the, the cooker as uh, long lasting as possible, as easy to control the temperature as possible, and, and can serve on uh, 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 charcoal. And uh, talk about a little bit about the cost effectiveness of running the stumps. Well, you know, I've been doing this quite a while. And, uh, and I've cooked on or, or built about, you know, everything that's out there. And what I've learned through cooking all the meat that I, that I have is, uh, you know, that piece of meat is like a muscle. And to me, my theory is behind it is you want to have it as consistent as you, your temperature in your cooker as you can. So you're just, you're, you're, you know, it's almost like working your bicep. You know, and, and and I call it, what I tell folks is I don't want my meat to cramp up with the temp going up and down. So, you know, my theory is I just want to keep it nice and steady. But at the same point, I want to retain that moisture in that meat. And so that's the reason, you know, I started building these, these insulated cookers that are sealed up with a consistent burn. Uh, and, you know, and being fuel efficient as, as, as they are so I can get that consistent product. Uh, and also, back in the day, I used to like to socialize a lot. And, you know, I was cooking on stick burners back then. And, you know, if you didn't fire that thing every 45 minutes, you didn't have no fire. So, uh, you know, and, and that happened a bunch. And I said, you know, there's got to be a better way. Well, so, well, when you had to go put the stick of wood in the stick burner, did you have to put down your Budweiser? Uh, well, a lot of times I had to put two down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, you know, and, and we got to playing around with these insulated cookers. And, uh, you know, I seen one interview you done with, with uh, Rub with Swamp Boys, and he was back there in the old days. And, and you know, we just we used to like to have a lot of fun back then. But, uh, you know, then it got to the point, you know, when I started filling with these insulated cookers, you know, we'd uh, put the meat on, socialize, and then wake up the next morning and say, oh, Lord, the, the cooker's out. You know, we go over there and the meat's done and it's fine. And, and you know, and everybody started seeing that. And they said, well, daggum, they parted all night. <laughs> and uh, I'm sitting over here feeding this tank, you know, and I got to get me one of them. So, you know, and that's just, you know, and, you know, back in the old days, it, insulated cookers were just getting going. And, and you know, we had... Uh, you know, stick burners like lanes and water cookers and, you know, and all that stuff. So it's, uh, but when you, when you run the roads, you know, two, three times a month, uh, you know, you need to be compact, you know, you, you take an insulated cooker and, you know, you can carry a couple bags of charcoal with you. You don't have to work. So if you're out there running for the points, you know, cook it three, four times a month or eight weekends in a row, the cooker doesn't wear you out. Right. And, and that's the beauty of it. And, and plus, you know, firewood is what, $7,500 a load now? Shoot. You got a load down there, got a cord, and it was $175. Yeah, yeah, so it's, and it's getting, you know, used to you just go get wood anywhere, and it's getting a little harder to do that. So, uh, you know, it's nice to be able to throw two bags of charcoal in the trailer and go. And, uh, and plus get sleep with it too. So, uh, and plus you're getting a good consistent product. And there's nothing wrong with a steak burner. I love cooking on a steak burner. Uh, I don't want to do it every weekend. Right. Uh, you know, I was raised in, a, you know, the old days, you know, we shovel coal, you know. And, uh, and it's sure a lot better than that, but it's hard to duplicate that kind of product though. Mm -hmm. I mean, because to me, that's, that's the best product you'll get is cooking over coals. Right. So, you know, it's just, it's fun. 
uh, it's, you know, I, I get out here and cook like the rest of these boys. I don't do as much as used to, uh, but next year is going to be a big year. Uh, I'm going to be cooking with Get Her Smoke next year. Uh, me and Terry sort of founded that team two years ago, and, and we're going to make a good run at the KCBS next year. Well, now, uh, I noticed that uh, Get Her Smoke's getting ready to win the FBA. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, uh, is that what kind of drew you back into the team? Well, you know, Terry, Terry, you know, me and him was on the road for, for a couple of years, and, and uh, you know, he wanted to go, and I said, well, come on, you can go with me. And, and uh, he just, he, he, you know, I've met a lot of good people doing this, and uh, he's, he's really a close friend of mine. We talk every day, and he wanted to learn the ropes, and, and uh, he knew a little bit already, and, uh, but he, he really took it and ran with it. Well, uh, I know Rub's going to watch this uh, video. You got anything you want to say to Rub right quick? Uh, let's see. What can I say to Rub? Living the dream, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, uh, you've got this new fantastic cooker come out that's got convection in it to go along with all the other technology that you're so good at. And Talk about your new, uh, your new cooker a little bit. Well, I, you know, I got the, you know, with... Talking about getting back on the road and, and getting on the porch cooking. Uh, and, you know, just like I've done a little thing the other day and I was telling the guy about this. And, you know, things change in the sport. You know, to me, it's about every six to eight months. To, to, it seems like the flavor profile changes or what have you. So, uh, you know, and folks are, a lot of folks are cooking on a stick burner and then putting on an insulated box. And I said, you know, I, I've done that before, and I said, I just don't want to fool with all that wood. I, you know, I like the insulated cooker, and uh, but, I, you know, I don't have nothing wrong with cooking on the stick burner, but, you know, I got to thinking about that thing and thinking about that thing. I've been thinking about it for about a year, and uh, and usually when I get something in my head, I build it 500 times in my head and cook on it before I ever been a piece of metal. So I got to mess around and finally got in the shop and built it. And, uh, and which is what I call the stump monster. And, uh, you know, you can run wood in it. You know, you can put a charcoal grate in it and grill on it. You can put a water pan in it. You can do whatever you want to it. It's a, it's a cooker's cooker. And they can set it up how they want it, and that's the beauty of it. Well, you know, uh, I just want to throw in here right here that uh, if you go and you buy a knockoff, those stump smokers, you're just not going to get the quality. Uh, and a lot of these knockoffs don't use fuel one pound an hour. And you can save enough money over 10 years to pay for that cooker 10 times uh, if you get a stumps because the amount of fuel it uses is so low. And uh, the quality's there. It's, it's going to last you a long time. And, and uh, stump, I just got to ask you, you know, I go up and I touch these, these stump cookers and they said, daggone solid, and it feels like it's got a half inch of, of, of powder coat and paint on it. My God, you made it like a train. It ain't going to rust, is it? Well, I mean, it, if you take care of it, it's going to last you, you know. But, you know, I, you know, I'm one of the world's worst about taking care of a cooker. I just cook on it. But, uh, you know, we, you know, after you build about 6,000 of these things, you know, you learn. It's always learning, you know, and it don't matter. If we build something a thousand times, you know, there's a customer out there that's running one seven days a week, and, you know, I'll see a little something on it, i say, hey, I need to tweak this a little bit and tweak that. And that, and that's what we've tried to do over the years. And, and it's, you know, it's made for a, a, a good product. We're not perfect by any means, but we try to do the best we can with what we've got. So uh, we're, we're always trying to, uh, you know, be a step ahead of everybody else. and and. Uh, which, you know, I and be and to me being the step of everybody else, I'm just trying to come out here and beat everybody out here cooking these barbecue contests, and that's the reason I come out with new cookers. So <laughs> you want to win, is that? Right? <laughs> uh, tell us about John Boy and Billy. I know you've been on their show quite often. You know them guys pretty good over there, don't you? Yeah, I've been up there, I think three or four times. Been up there, and, and they're a lot of fun. We have a good time up there, and cook some good groceries and. 
It's, it's always a good time to go up there. Um, how, how often are you on the show now? Do you call in very often? No, uh, I, I hadn't. I'm just now getting back in the swing of things since I got hurt last year. So, you know, all that's starting to come back. We're going to start doing a lot of stuff. So, uh, about the biggest thing I've done this year is, you know, got out and done some stuff with the with the swamp logging crew. And uh, uh, called a cook, which is on the John Boy Billy show. He, he come down and cook with us several times. So. You know, I'm just, I'm getting my sea legs back under me, and I ain't fast as you used to be, but, but we getting out there. Yeah, uh, he he uh, hurt his back, and he's just now recovering from it, and, and I just want you to know from the barbecue world, uh, you know, you might know it, know it's not, but there's a lot of people who really love and care about you, and uh, the FBA, I mean, uh, the MBN, uh, uh, KCBS cooks, I, I've counted so far, there's 32 teams out here with stumps on them, and uh, the likes of uh, Bubba Q, uh, uh, I don't know, there's so many down across there got stumps that it's a laundry list. And, uh, you know, if the, if the number one national teams are using your cooker, I mean, it'd be a good idea for the other people who want to come in and raise their game to that level for them to get up there and get them with stumps too, wouldn't it? All right. Well, you know, as, as like I told somebody the other day, they don't buy them cookers because they like me. They buy them because they win. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what winning's all about. You know, stumps, I don't know, not many people get you on the camera very often. And uh, this is your opportunity to talk to all your friends. Uh, you know, we was out there laughing last night, and, and uh, somebody brought your name up. We stood around there and laughed for 30 minutes because you're just such a wonderful guy. And, and you know, I've been with some other uh, barbecue grill producers, CEOs, or founders before, and a lot of them got a a little corporate attitude about them. They stand up there and you're like, hey, buddy, how you doing? And they're like, uh, hey, buddy, hey. And, and they act like you're not there. And Stumps, you want us. I mean, you're you're just like me and everybody else that's out here cooking. And I uh, just want to give you an opportunity to take a minute or so and uh, uh, send all your friends a message because I know they're all worried about your back. And then they also uh, want to know how you're doing and how, how Stumps is doing. Uh, well, I mean, I'm doing good. You know, like I said before, I can't get around like I used to could. Uh, you know, stunt smokers is kicking about good as they can kick. You know, we all hurting from this economy right now. Uh, you know, we'll, uh, you know, all I can say is, you know, the year's about over. And uh, if you want to win something, you better win it now because Gitter Smoke's going to be running hard next year. <laughs> and, you know, now's a good time to, to up your game. If you're using some Weber Smoky Mountains, you want to up your game a little bit. I mean, uh, get you a, a stretch. Uh, them stretches are really nice. You can do a whole competition on a stretch, can't you? Yeah, you can do a stretch, on, uh, do a whole contest on the stretch. You can do it on the junior. Uh, junior is a new cooker we got out this year. Uh, the monster, uh, which is, I think, you know, it's going to be a big seller next year. I got a lot of, a lot of big teams already calling on it and they just waiting to, to see what it does. Uh, but, uh, and what's matter of fact, we got a, a, a first ever, what do you call it? The, what do you call that Friday after Thanksgiving? Oh, Black Friday. Yeah, yeah we got the first ever Black Friday sale at Stunt Smokers. Whoa. Uh, yeah, and it's on the monster. Oh, that's the convection of them. Yeah, we're going to do uh, 10 of them at 36.85. Oh, Lord. Well, you heard that right here. Now, um, you know, since I did this interview, you know, on uh, Stumps, um, is there any way that uh, maybe you could hook barbecue superstars up with one? <laughs> yeah, shoot, I can't get one. I got to buy one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect you to do that, and I know. And You know, I tell you what, friends. Now, here's another thing that I just want to put out there. You know, Everybody's going foreign countries. You know, there are pellet grills that are building in China right now. Uh, some of the other big name, high production, selling a, a ton of grills. They're in Mexico. They're in Puerto Rico. Stumps is made right here in America. And he's a good old Georgia boy, just like everybody else in the southeast. Uh, you know, he lives down the road. He comes up and he works. And we need to support America. And, and Linda Orison from The Shed the other day was on my show. And, you know, one thing she mentioned, people buy local in America. That's what made America great. And if we stop supporting people who make it in China, and we stick with stumps on what he's got, 
Next thing you know, he gets bigger. He's got more jobs. And you know what? He's going to go to the grocery store, to the, to the car lot, and, and to all these manufacturing jobs that we need. He's going to buy more stuff and put more people in business who can do more stuff like that. And guess what? It might put your cousin in or your, your husband or your friend in a job. And that's, that's another thing that an American company like Stump Smokers uh, brings to the table. But uh, we've had some great interviews about stumps all day, and uh, we're down in Cummins, Georgia. It looks like it's going to be one of the number one KCBS competitions in the southeast, without a doubt. And uh, shoot, man, you excited about being here, Stump? Oh, yeah, always. Always. Anytime I'm out here with the... With the boys for good fellowship and good barbecue, it's, it's, I'm always happy. Now, are you actually cooking with him, or is he cooking? Uh, he's cooking. Oh, he is? Yeah, I'm, oh. just, I'm just pointing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we love Stumps, and, and uh, to Rub, one of his good friends, and and uh, to the fellows, Danny Kugel, them, that was out there last night, and uh, everybody out there that's using Stumps uh, and the Stump family, uh, this is uh, Stumps himself, the original, the main man, cooks 365 days a year somewhere around the town he's in, and uh, a big positive part of barbecue, and we appreciate you taking this interview, and uh, Stump, man, we support Stumps a thousand percent, and uh, listen, if you're going to buy a new grill, there's a lot of people out there that's going to get into this, look at Stumps first, call him up, I mean, now you, you're very accessible. If somebody calls your office, they can get you directly, can't they? Yeah, uh, usually me or, or Thad, we sort of take turns, you know, with the telephone. Uh, so, you know, if if they get, you know, if they get Thad, they they, you know, want to talk to me or whatever. I mean, I'm I'm right here. I'm, I ain't dead by no means. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you know, pitmasters, you could use him. I mean, uh, why don't you kick Myron off for just a little while and put stumps up in there? Would you get up there and judge stump? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> One more, one more little thing. Uh, December 17th, 18th, we have a uh, Get Stump with Stump class. Oh, you are? Yep, yeah, in Perry, Georgia. Uh, $180. Down there with Audrey Evans. She ain't coming. Oh, she ain't? No. $180? That's cheap. Now, yep. we're talking about a competition barbecue class? Exactly. A portion of the proceeds going to the Perry Shrine Club. Good God, $180. Yeah, man, what? Now, you've won some grands. How many grands you want? Uh, not that many. Oh, really? Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, you ain't got to have a grand to be a barbecue cook. Oh, no. I mean, I know you totally kick ass. Yeah. You know? uh, I figured you won 180 grand, too, or probably some anyway. Mm, okay. I was usually socializing too yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you had a beer in each yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> me, too. And, uh, somebody emailed me the other day wanting to know what kind of credentials I had to teach a barbecue class. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. You produce 6,000 grills that are totally kicking ass on the circuit. I think that gives you a credential. You know, I don't build grills. You know, I, you got to, I don't know. Well, I, I tell you something else. Anybody who's cooked 365 days a year for how many years? A bunch. 10, 15, 20? I mean, I'd say that would classify you as somebody who knew what they were doing because on a daily basis, he's checking how brisket's chicken and all that are doing. And you know what? If you're a company out there that's a big multi-million dollar conglomerate and you're looking to cash in research, his research is worth millions. I mean, uh, if he would be willing to part with it for $10 million, you might be able to do yourself a favor and put out a line of grills that'll blow this whole world apart uh, by keying into his research. And uh, if somebody was to come up and offer you $10 million, would you sell your research? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he would or not. <laughs> hey, Lord, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, What'd you do? <laughs> oh, I sell it. I'd be down in the Bahamas so fast, you would be. I don't know if I'd be in the Bahamas, but I'd be at the house with a gate lock. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I gotta see. I might just move on down there next to mine and just piss him off every day. <laughs> Man, you and mine are good friends, ain't you? I just throw pecans at him all day. <laughs> He got a whole bunch of pecans. <laughs> you know, he gets them schools and he lines up them big old buses. He puts them all by pecan trees. And then they're up under there and shit's falling on them all. <laughs> I love you, Myron. And, and I wasn't trying to get you off the Pitmaster show for Stump. I was just, you know, we got to throw people's name in for everything. And uh, we're just trying to have some fun. And uh, uh, 
Well, what do you think's gonna happen next year? You think Sam's will come back and do their contest? I don't know. You know, I, I like I said, I I hadn't been in the thick of it, you know, since I got hurt. So, you know, there was somebody asked me about some things a, a while ago, and I I just I hadn't, you know, I'm not in the loop like I used to be, but uh, I don't know. I know we was uh, me and Terry would uh, get a smoke was talking about Vegas next year. And uh, so I don't know if we can pinch enough pennies to get out there, but we'd like to get out there. $250,000. Yeah. I went to Little Rock and done that one out there a couple years ago. And I think it's 280 teams. And I went out there with Kel from National Barbecue News. Me and him cooked out there. Had a, had a great time, which, you know, through the years I've been here and there, you know, throughout the country. And, uh, but I sure like to get some of that Vegas money. Hey, we was out there for the 125,000, and and the way he did it, he did it the top 50, and the top 50 teams each got a little money, like 50 dollars, and uh, uh, but you know, I think that you know, if you got 250,000 dollars, a grand ought to be 100,000. What do you think? Yeah, I don't. I think the grand is. I came in what the grand, a little rock 25, but I I sure like to give me a hundred grand. Ooh, what? What would Stumps do with a hundred thousand dollars? Buy me another stump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good to meet somebody who's really satisfied with where he lives and what he's got. Uh, you know, Stumps, if you had $100 million, would you change anything? Probably not. Oh, now, did you hear that? Oh. Right, I mean, they just... Would you run for governor? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now... I'd like to put Stump's name in for the presidential race. Now, uh, we got all these idiots on the Republican and the Democratic side running. Man, we need Stump's. Would you run for president? Mm -mm. No, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. Now, could we, could we uh, draft him into it? Is there some way we could put a petition together, would they? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. Uh, president, that's out of the question. No, no. Don't want no headaches. <laughs> Well, we've had a lot of fun. I don't know what else to say now. They're making. That's the reason I built the start of building these cookers. Got didn't want no headaches. <laughs> well, Daryl, we're they're making the trophies across the way. They got a chainsaw. Very interesting idea. So we're gonna go over there and check with them. But uh, Stumps, man, uh, we appreciate everything you mean to barbecue. We appreciate everything you've done for barbecue, and uh, you know. It's good to see a barbecue guy, a good old guy, just like the rest of us, uh, get out of here and try and do something so major and so big. And, uh, you know, I've heard the whole time I've been out there how much you've helped other teams, how much you've helped people get in, uh, the things you've done in the middle of the night, sending stuff when it tore up. I mean, everything, everything, everything. And, uh, you know, from the barbecue family, we just want to throw a lot of love your way. And uh, uh, keep us posted on your back, and we hope you all feel better. And uh, shoot, man, get in here with the television logger guy here, and shoot, let's win a grand tomorrow. What's he going to do if he win a grand tomorrow? Uh, hopefully give me some gas money to get back home. <laughs> 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 well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, moving on.